think it was a book. Was it? Yes, it was. Uh, I think I might have put it in like a chiseled bookshelf. I'm not sure. Ah, there. Let's see. Well, that's a good book, but I can't read it. I can't read it. I don't know why I have it. Let's see what this one is then. See if this is it. Translated that. Blah 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 blah. Good story. It's this one. Random. Let's see. Also, first I'm going to see who these were by. So that was made by that. Translated that was made by Clonston Newberg. And random is made by GF DOFVD. That is a random name. Light to look inside space, or the void to look inside space, or the void to look like inside space, less than expected to look like water. Cool. Stephen Alex. Stephen Alex lived. The end. That was that's the best story. Wait, who is it by? Who is it by? Bill Micropay. Cool. Ender Dragon. Let's read it. You can't circle it. Cool. Eid Copperplat. Video. Let's see. Yes. Uh, video. Hi guys. Today I'll be showing you a mini nether and end dimension. Happy and weird face. The red box is the nether, and the skulk box is the end. I use skulk to look like inside space or the void. I think the end is in the void, though. So, yeah, let's go place this back. For the purposes of the video, so that I don't get damaged or anything, I'm going to go into creative mode. I'm just gonna go pass through the vent. Here we go. Here's our mini nether dimension with our little nether portal here. Nether portal banner. So, yeah. You can look on YouTube how to create it. So, that's what I did. And I've used piglin and um, with skeleton heads to make it kind of, you know look like the mobs themselves so yeah got basalt deltas warped forest um, um one of these forests have crimson forests and a little um soul sand valley Uh, no, there isn't any ancient debris or anything. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Then. Let's see this one. I've used redstone for this as well. So yeah, here's my end dimension, here's the main end island, I bet you're thinking, well this is a lot smaller than it looked like on the outside, yeah, because it's magic. It isn't, you've all probably noticed that down there. So yeah, what it really is, is you can open it, hopefully, there we go. It's actually an outer end island with some of those mini islands as well. And yeah, we've also got an um, Nen City. As well as a Nen ship with a dragon head at the, um, at the start of it. So 
so yeah I'll show you how the redstone is in like a, in a minute I'll just yeah I'm sure you all guessed it by now so uh, so I'll just take the skull so these are these two are linked and then yeah whenever I press that it's got something redstone leading into here next to a redstone torch so it's inverted so that it's pushing this piston but whenever something's triggering that it's triggering the um, redstone making it so that the redstone torch turns off unpowering the piston so it's quite simple if you want me to I can I'm gonna build it for you anyways so you just need a block of choice, pressure plate of choice, and redstone torch and sticky piston. So yeah, let me lay it out. So I did it like that. Okay, there we go. So you first off, if you want to get a shape like this with your sticky piston like that like I just did. I can't totally do it for you. So at first off you want to do three lines of your your block and then bring it up by one. Bring one up three blocks forward from it. Like either that side or this side. Not this side or this side. And then you want to place a sticky piston on top. Um, and then place your block onto the sticky piston. Then press your oak press pressure plates at either side, like this. Like there's a gap here. Then you're going to want to un underneath it get redstone all the way through. So that no matter what, if you press one of these, it powers. Then you want to do it like this. Now this is just a test see whether this works. Okay. Then once you've done that, you can put redstone down next to it and make a side pushing the piston. And then you should just be able to pop down on it and then yeah. This is for bedrock though. Um, Also, if you're wondering how I managed to do that, it's just this simple thing. I pressed it, and then, yeah, it just filled them in for me. Don't you dare tell me that it did that. Please don't. Please don't. No, it didn't. Good. Why don't you check on these? On, on this as well. And then I might have done something. No, we're fine. Yeah, we're definitely fine. Also, if you're wondering how I managed to get it to just be lit up without anything, it's the power of light blocks wherever one is. I know that there's one inside here, though. Cool, so you actually can't slash give at S light block. Then, yeah, if I hold it out, then, yeah, you can see. Yep, there. Yay. You can also place one with zero down, and if you just keep on clicking on it while you've got your light block on, or in your hand, you can keep on bringing it slight up until you get to 15, and then that's when it restarts at zero. So, 13, 14, 15, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. I did go on that side as well. There you go. So, yeah. You might also have a light block on top of here. Even though the conduits do have their own um, little light source. So, yeah, they're conduits. Uh, so, see if we can reach 
that's 10 likes. And also, if anybody's watching this far, comment down below so that you can see um, what biome I should do next. Goodbye.